On the northwestern edge of Iparos, where the seas of the Ionian spread out, a water bridge between the east and the west, Thesprotia, is the mother of the primordial Greece, opening its doors to the visitor that wants to feel, in full, an ancient civilization to discover the roots of Europe. In its guts, the river of Acherondas flows, one of the most sacred sites of Hellenism. From there, a voyage begins, the making of a unique history that reaches our days through the ages of myth and legend. In the framework of an incessant interchange of a generous nature, various markings of bright events come into a time climax on the Thesprotian land. Antiquity, Byzantium, the recent times. The big Thesprotian city of Elea sprawled into debris above the village of Velenia on the slope of Corallus. For some decades, in the midst of the 4th century BC, it was the capital of Thesprotia and the centre of the activities of the common of the Thesprotians. Gitani was the political centre of the Thesprotians in ancient times. It is identified by the rebels of Gumani at a distance of 1.5 kilometers from the dam of Kalamas. On the peninsula of Lagia, north of Egemenensa, up on a hill next to the Ionian Sea, the visitor can find the Tower of Ragio, most probably a colony of the resident of the island of Corfu. Moving further south, on the hill of Dolani, the archway of the Acropolis of the ancient ruined Dorp scans the river Calamas. This area is recorded by the ancient historians Polyvius and Tito Livius as the capital of the residents of Fanoti. Democrastron, a walled onshore Dorp, extends into the calm Thesprotian slope that meets the Ionian Sea on the southern peak of the Karovostasi seashore. In the course of history, the site has been identified with the ancient city of Elena. The years of the Byzantium and the Signori have marked in a special manner the Thesprotian lands. Next to the river of Acherondas, the visitor can find the ruins of the Byzantine church of the Gleki, a structure that was erected during the Paleo-Christianical epoch. Another important site in the area aging from the Histrio-Byzantine years, the church of the Panagia of Paramithia, the Comforter. During the years of the Ottoman Empire, the Thesprotian landscape changes, the inaccessible gorges, the abrupt rocks, become a den for the chaste. In the frugal Dorian landscape of the mountains of the area of Suli, above the gateway of Adhes, the first Christians found a place to rest and hide away. There, they introduced four villages, Suli, Semonida, Kiathras and Avariko. This is where they lived under the unwritten laws and the institutions managing to save the most important elements of the Greek civilization from the antiquity. The ages of Byzantium, the Ottoman Empire captivity and the most recent years. Monasteries and small decorative churches were the life of many eons. They provide the visitor with an opportunity to get to know about these fabulous civilizational treasures. One of these treasures is the monastery of Geromeri, dedicated to the Domitium. The main structure was built around the year 1300 AD on the green slopes of the mountain Pharmakovuni. One of the most impressive qualities of this structure is the wonderful collection of paintings and murals. During the hard years of the Ottoman Empire, the small churches of the Orthodoxy, in order to survive, they climb on inaccessible gorges, abrupt slopes and deeply wooded areas. St. Minas in the area of Kokinolithari and St. Athanasios near the commune of Perdica. They both are excellent examples of ecclesiastical and historical value. The visitor will have the opportunity to see and marvel at the authentic samples of ecclesiastical art. Those of the churches that could not make it in time, they pop up weedy among the empty spaces, spaces that smell of frankincense, wax candles, incense boat, spaces that are holy and still vibrate from holiness. Thesprotia today moves with a high pace of development, being central in the circumstances of southeastern Europe. Egemenensa, the modern capital of Thesprotia, used to be a deserted port, according to the ancient historian Thucydides. 
Today, it has developed into a beautiful modern city, a truly open door for the sea paths of the west and the east. The new port is one of the most modern ones in the Mediterranean. It provides for continuous marine communication and along with the under construction Ignatia Highway is the basic gateway of entrance and access to all the Balkan and the other countries of Eastern Europe. Igamaninsa is a lively city full of action and a fast pace of living. Lovely restaurants and modern cafeterias that add to the pleasant stain of the visitor. Another important city of Thesprotia is Paramithia. Built on the roots of the mountain Kurilas, it lies under the shade of the castle of St. Donatos. The town keeps with the stone paved streets, the stone houses, the many drinking fountains a special colour. Coming from Middle Ages signets and the Ottoman ramparts, it appears to be the oldest town of Thesprotia. A very well-known commercial feast is the Lamvovos of Paramithia, an event that takes place in the first week of every October. Its beginning is lost in the years of the Justinian age. Thesprotia accepts the modern way of living without refusing its authenticity and its magnanimity. The residents maintain in a much higher degree the local customs and habits that keep them tied with this land. In the hinterland, picturesque small villages stand ascending from many ages in forest-covered slopes, revealing to the visitor an unpresumptuous elegance. In the village of Placio, two-floor and three-floored mansions with big coignards and hammer-dressed stones, arch windows, curved doors and stone paved yards, traces from groups of workshops that give evidence of the old bloom of the town. In Thesprotia, the modern life, the searches, the examinations, they all bury the hatchet with tradition, the local particularity and the authenticity. The Dorp of Finiki, next to the village of Pilatus, is one of the best maintained areas of Thesprotia. Here, the past was conserved from his people, not for the order of nostalgic runs, but to listen to it, to bow on his treasures, to discover the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the simple man. To enjoy the heck value of the technician is heck value when he constructs the copperwares, when he assigns to the clay the shape of tiles. To be enchanted by the beauty and the imagination of the average Thesprotian woman that weaves the dowries when she embroiders the wedding clothes, when she ornaments with drooly raisins the coils of bread. And mostly, to admire in the landing works and all the other hard works the courage the patient in the endless years of the absence of men abroad. The residents of these lands insist on keeping alive the traditions, well-built folklore museums that convey to the visitor the messages of general and local civilization. Once a year in the local feast, Around the symbol of the village, the plain, the circle of dancers. Slow motion, rhythm attuned to the music. In Thesprotia, life is closely tied to the natural environment. The Thesprotian nature is a true refuge, ideal for vacations. It offers great opportunities for alternative modes of tourism that include fabulous peregrinations, athletics, sailing, horseback riding, mountaineering, slope parachuting and whatever else the visitor may command. The rivers, the gorges, the mountains, the footpaths, the seas, the lakes, they truly offer to the admirers of sports unique thrills and majestic experiences. 
The waters of the river Kalamas give and still give life to towns, cities and villages next to its pathway. Dejected single arch and multiple arch footbridges, traces and signs of acropolises, they testify a tight residential tie-up in the courses of ages. At the beginning, the river Kalamas rushes towards the sea. There, in between Sagiada, Rai and Egamaninsa, one of the most important water reserves of Greece is located, offering unique moments of delight and amazingly beautiful sunsets. The view is spectacular, thousands of birds and herds of wild horses, a real sense of delight one gets from travelling with a boat in between the small islets of the estuary. Achirondas, the other big Thesprotian river, beginning from its source down to its embouchure, it is an ecosystem of unique value and beauty, being protected from the Network Nature 2000. It is not a coincidence that the myth demands that in its flow gods and mortals meet forever. According to the myth, on the banks of the Achirondas, next to the populace, Kasfoni, daughter of Demetra, the goddess of life and death, goes for a stroll just before Hades, the god of the netherworld, keeps her tight in his dark realm. The narrow lane, parallel to the riverbed, in between perpendicular huge rocks, ends up in a majestic gorge with rare fauna and flora. Further, the steps of Tavalina, the old footpath of the residents of Suli, the Suleotis, it leads to the water mills at the source of the Glendala before meeting the great big river. From its sources up to its disembogments, the river Acherondas offers unique opportunities for pleasant drives, but also for much specialized ways of sporting, like rafting, kayak, and slope parachuting. Another majestic area of Thesprotia is the water biotype of Kalidikion, next to the road that connects Egumaninsa with Previsa, a divine site with rare fauna and flora, also known as the lake with the water lilies. Thesprotia, with its temperate Mediterranean climate, offers unforgettable and distinct moments all the year round. A unique moment in the Thesprotian experience, a majestic coastline that starts from Sagiada and reaches down to the estuary of the river Acherondas in an incessant variety and mode of weaving seashores, calm embayments and small picturesque harbours. Caravostasi, Arila, Agia Pareskevi, Megali Amos, Sivota, Piscina, Plataria, Drepano are just a collection of few of the most memorable, probably the most well known, of the sea shores that await the visitor to enjoy the light of the sun, to play with the waves, to discover the sea bottom, to swim in the open sea and to benefit from the cool summer winds. Super modern hotel units widely dispersed along Thesprotia await for the devotee of the alternative tourism and sports but also the businessman and his fellow workers. At a distance of 25 kilometers from Egamaninsa, the visitor will find the town of Sivota, the most strongly cosmopolitan corner of Thesprotia. Here, you can discover a modern holiday center, lively and beautiful, capable to support a vast variety of amenities. Fantastic beaches with deep blue waters, marine caverns and magnificent seashores await all those who wish to explore the beaches of the area. Micros Paradisos, Gallicos Molos, Balavraca, Zavia, Mega Amos, Micri Mega Amos, Piscina and other minor beaches. Caravostasi is the case of an endless beach, widely famous for its crystal clear turquoise waters, the snow white sand. During summer months, it provides hospitality to numerous sailors in its gorgeous bay. Southern to Egamaninsa, at a distance of 12 kilometers, the visitor will meet the stupendous beaches of the circumlateral site of Platarias, 